In this lesson, we'll continue review of Math Test 8, Section 4, Questions 12 through 14. Question 11 was part of a three-part set, and we did that in the previous video, so we're going to start with question 12. Roberto is an insurance agent who sells two types of policies, a $50,000 policy and a $100,000 policy. Last month, his goal was to sell at least 57 insurance policies. While he did not meet his goal, the total value of the policies he sold was over $3 million. Which of the following systems of inequalities describes X, the possible number of $50,000 policies, and Y, the possible number of $100,000 policies that Roberto sold last month? So we had a question just like this, but it was an equality. This is an inequality. So let's do the single variable inequality first. His goal was to sell at least 50,000 insurance policies. Normally, at least means that number or greater than, right? So it'd be greater than or equal to, but you want to be careful. You have to read these carefully. This is a little tricky. He did not meet his goal. And so even though he was trying to sell greater than or equal, at least he didn't meet it. And so it's going to be less than, right? He didn't meet the goal. So the number of policies, we've got X and Y, X plus Y is less than 57. That's our first inequality. So A works, B does not because he did not meet his goal. C works and D does not. So we're already down to the last two. Now we need an inequality for the revenue. So we know X is the 50,000, so it's gonna be 50,000 times X plus 100,000 times Y. And here it says he sold over, right? It's pretty much the way it's stated. He did sell over that amount. And so of these two, we want greater than or equal. It was over, not less than. And so the answer is C. All right, let's take a look at question number 13. If A to the negative 1 half is equals X, where A is greater than zero, what is A in terms of X? We've seen this phrase a lot. A in terms of means we need to solve for A. And here we have A to the negative 1 half. We know A to the 1 half is the square root of A. But to the negative 1 half, it's 1 over the square root of A. So you need to know your concepts well. That's what this is equals x. And so we need to isolate a. We need to manipulate this just to get a single a. So the first step is we're going to square both sides. Okay, so when we square 1, it's 1. When we square the square root of a, it's a equals x squared. And the last step is we're going to flip it because we want a over 1. So a over 1 is just a. We flip both sides. And that's it. It's 1 over x squared. All right, let's take a look at the last question on this page. 14. Which of the following is a value of x for which the expression is undefined? And undefined, think about with slope, for example. If you have a slope and you have a zero on the top, that's a slope of zero. But that would just be a horizontal line. But if you have a denominator where it's zero, that's a vertical line, that's undefined. And so just remember, anytime you see question undefined, that means the denominator is zero. So that's really just the the way to solve this problem. So we're just going to focus on this equation and we're going to find the solutions where it equals zero and that will tell us where it's undefined. So this is just a factor in question. What are the factors of negative 10 to get positive 5? Well, it's 5 and 2 and we want positive 3 so it's going to be x plus 5 and x minus 2. So the two solutions are negative 5 and 2. We don't have negative 5 but we do have 2 the answer is D.